this endeavor to help give some sort of relief and support to black home businesses. It is so important uh, that while we say that black lives matter, that we also show that black lives matter. And, and it starts with doing things like this. A determined teenager putting his words into action, raising money to help small black-owned businesses damaged during recent protests in downtown Atlanta. CJ Pearson is president and founder of Last Hope USA and joins us now. CJ, good morning. It's so great to have you here. Good morning, Sandra. It's a pleasure to be here. So CJ, what inspired you to step in and help out some of those businesses that have struggled during all of this? You know, definitely, I had seen so many people posting black screens, but I thought, you know, let's go actually do something. Let's go put some actions behind those words and go help people that are so badly in need. I watched so many videos of America burning each and every night, and it broke my heart to see. But it also broke my heart to see black-owned businesses suffering while people were chanting Black Lives Matter. Uh, and so to, to create this effort uh, and to pro provide some of that relief um, was definitely something that I was happy to do. And, and it was incredible to see um, the response that it received. Talk about the response that you received. I know we are showing images of Wilborn Sisters design. Janice joined us. She was a guest on this program talking about the destruction to her store. I know you gave her a $10,000 check uh, for her company. How did she respond? She, she was immensely grateful, and I, I gotta say, it was so great hearing from her. Uh, the Wilborn Sisters of Designs is a great uh, Atlanta institution. They've given back to the Atlanta community uh, so much over the course of many decades, and they are truly an Atlanta institution. Uh, when we first started to set out this effort, I set a goal for $30,000. I expected, you know, to maybe raise that and, and, you know, be able to help a few businesses, but we blew through that goal in just three hours, raising more than $160,000 in three days. Um, um, and it was truly, again, like it was, it blew me away to see the response um, that we received, but also it, it filled me with so much hope um, to be able to help so many people who need uh, this relief now more than ever. Wow, it's, a, it's a, such a big undertaking, just 17 years old, CJ. You're an inspiration for many. What was your messaging when you went out there to try to raise that money for small business? Definitely, you know, what we saw in these riots that happened uh, following the tragic killing of George Floyd is you saw people who sought to use a, a, a man's life who was wrongfully taken as a means to an end to push their own agenda. And they said they were doing it for black lives, but I've got to tell you, burning down a Wendy's or any establishment didn't do anything for my black life. So what I wanted to do is show that conservatives can come together and we can actually help people of color. And, and, and we're not just saying black lives matter, we're showing that they really do indeed matter. We're not just speaking it into, into the atmosphere, but we're backing our words with action and results. A few seconds left here, CJ. I, I know people are listening to you, and they're so impressed um, by how you're representing yourself and your community. I know that you raised a lot more money than you had anticipated. How do you plan to disperse the rest of those funds? Definitely. So we're going to be reaching out to more businesses in the coming days and weeks to give them the similar relief that we were able to offer the Wilborn Sisters of Designs. What we also want to do is cultivate the next generation of young entrepreneurs, providing them with crucial resources that they need to start businesses of their own and to follow in the footsteps of trailblazers like the Wilborn Sisters uh, and creating the next generation of pioneers and innovators that America is definitely going to benefit from. I know so many are grateful for your help, and you are an impressive young man. Thanks for coming on and telling your story, CJ. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure. Okay.